It's a quick demonstration on how to wire up a laser speed device. What you'll end up getting is one of two things. You'll end up getting this 25 pin breakout module, which you can wire directly into a USB a serial cable, perhaps even with the USB serial adapter to a PC so that you can run the laser track software. Um, or you can send the encoder pulses directly to uh, your PLC by using the few pinouts on there. Um, or you could use like uh, one of our devices, our Data Pro 500, which has a power supply and everything built into it, already pre wired to a display. Um, basically, you use the uh, 25 pin cable that connects over into the top of the, the laser speed device. Um, and on the Data Pro 500, the top left, if you're looking at it, um, nine pin cable is what you connect to the PC if you're using that uh, function. Um, if you're Using this, you'd use the 9-pin here to connect to the PC, as well as connect the 25-pin cable to this uh, power supply breakout module. So how it works is you download the LaserTrack software, which we can provide a link for. Uh, you open it up. Uh, communication should automatically establish. If not, then you might want to go under Tools and then um, search for Laser Speeds. Um, and they should automatically find it once you find it, say OK. Um, and then you push Start here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take this piece of paper. And we've got it set for inches per minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the product right past the laser. And you can see I'll do it again. You can see that red line is your velocity, the blue line is the quality factor telling how well you're reading. I'm moving the product part inside the laser beam again, and I took off a little bit faster at the tail end, where you can see it shows you the velocity. Uh, now my overall uh, distance is a length of 22.6 inches. Um, as I move the part through again, you'll see the velocity show up on there, as well as you'll see it on the graph. Now we're sitting at uh, about 33, 34 inches. So you can see 34 inches shows up on display. I'll run the paper back through it again. So now we're about 45. I should match the same as 45 up there if the encoder pulses are set properly. Now you will see that the one thing is you want, there's a standoff distance. You can see the two laser beams right there. As I move the, move the paper farther back, it gets to the depth of field of about 12, there's 11.8 inches, which is 300 millimeters from the face of the gauge and we want the product to be running parallel with with the face of the gauge as well as you want say the edge of a web or something like that to be in this direction of this bottom plate so you can kind of see you want to kind of line that that edge up you don't want the product to be sitting something like this as it runs through there because that's going to actually measure shorter than what, or I'm sorry, longer than what the, the product actually is, just because you're measuring long ways across the, the paper. So feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. And we will. There's my card. So feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. And we will help out as needed. Thanks a lot.